Mom says if you don't come down to breakfast right now, you can just starve. Is that a direct quote? Well, what are you doing? Dear Abby, my problem is I have this rotten kid sister. Very and... funny. Was that your job interview outfit? Because if it is... Hey, do me a favor and butt out. Boy! Between you and Dad, it's worth your life to say a word around here today. Oh, yeah? What's wrong with Dad? I don't know. But he's very uncheerful. Again? I've been thinking maybe it'd be a good idea if I got out of here for a while. You can't do that. You've got stuff to do around the house. And you also got your job interview. I'm not talking about going out for a walk. I'm talking about going away. Away? Where? Up to Oregon. Up to Grandma's farm. Maybe I could finish that script up there. Maybe you'd go better if I were alone out of everybody's way. You're not in my way. I'm talking about Dad. Well, if he gets the job, he'll cheer up. I'm sure he will. But I won't. Hey, come on, get out of here. Beat it, will you? I'll be right down. Willie, don't do anything dumb. Yeah. Mm. I'd like some more coffee, please. Okay. Well, I guess it's not true the coffee stunts your growth. It certainly is true. Without coffee, your father and I'd be seven feet tall. Well, then why won't you let me drink it? Because you'd probably be the exception to the rule, and I don't think you should take that chance, short stuff. Good morning, Willie. Good morning. Good morning, Dad. I thought you had a job interview this morning. I don't think it matters much what I wear. Furniture finishers aren't hired because the fancy dresses. Thank you. Willie, I find your whole attitude about working pretty negative. I'll get it. Hello. Saved by the bell. I'd walk very softly, buddy. Oh, hello. How are you? Yes, certainly. Just a second, please. Mom? It's Elaine Hogan. She says it's important. Elaine, good morning. No, Elaine. When did it happen? What did they take? Oh, God, it's getting to be an epidemic. Is there anything you need? Tomorrow night? I guess we could. We'll see you then. Oh, and Elaine, I know it sounds silly, but try and relax. How's that for help? I'll send you a bill. Bye-bye. What was it? They were robbed last night. The house was stripped there. Third robbery in the neighborhood in the past two weeks. Now maybe you'll get a dog. Elaine said she'd ask the police to send someone over tomorrow night. She wants to form one of those neighborhood watches. She'd like us to be there. Good idea. The vigilante's right again. What time's your appointment? Don't worry, I'll make it. Does anybody want any more I asked you what time your appointment was. Well, it's not exactly going to be a mob scene. It's just a job beating up furniture that some guy can't I don't care if no one's there for the job. You should be on time. Dad, I don't want this job. But why go at all, then? Because you won't let up on me until I start doing something useful. Buddy, I'll pick you up after school. Why? Because it's Dr. Wortham's chance to have at your teeth again. We don't have to be so grouchy about it. It's torturing me, not you. Willie, I'd like you to pick me up at the courthouse at about five. Certainly. Is there anybody else? Maybe I should get a job as a chauffeur. That's mostly what I do around here anyway. Willie? Frank, he's nervous. He's had such rotten luck with interviews. He was awfully disappointed it didn't work out at the newspaper. Well, what do you expect? He doesn't have a high school diploma. How can he imagine the newspaper will take him seriously? He tried the TV station, too. Oh, I'm well aware of what Willie has tried, buddy. I find his aspirations somewhat out of line with his abilities. Well, he really wants to work on the movie script he's writing. I really want to retire. But I can't. Buddy, don't you think you'd better get a move on? Do I have to? 
This is much more interesting. Goodbye, buddy. Have a good day. I've never consulted seriously on anything around here. Good day to you, too. Please. I've got to get my papers together. Why are you being so rough on Willie? Oh, for God's sake, Kate. He's got the highest IQ in his class. All he's done with it is sit around the house all day. He's not sitting around. He's working. He's writing. Six weeks from now, his class will be graduating. They'll be getting diplomas. He'll be on his hands and knees working at some second-rate furniture store, if he's lucky. You're the one who was so insistent about his having a job. Tomorrow afternoon, I've been invited to his high school to address his graduating class about possibilities for kids who might want to go into law. He won't be there. Doug, we've always realized he'd choose a different way of life from you or his friends. I haven't always realized it, but it's been brought home to me this year, quite forcefully. He's a creative person, Doug. He's decided to be a writer. As far as I'm concerned, he's decided to be a typist. I wish he'd come to his senses and throw that screenplay he says he's writing into the waste paper basket. Now, I want him to go back to school. We promised him he could take this year off. You talked me into letting him do that. I will never forgive myself for giving in to you. Now, I'm late and I've got to go. Aren't you going to say goodbye? Goodbye. Thank you. Roy, I need a bulb for my tail light. Hey, Willie. Hey, it's really good to see you. Gentlemen, see you. Hey, where have you been keeping yourself? Just around. Uh huh. Are you okay? Hey, guess what? You're never going to believe this. Who do you think's in the yearbook is the most likely to succeed? Well, not you, Turkey, that's for sure. Right, not me. Him. Oh, no. Out of 230 seniors, the one most likely to succeed is Willie Lawrence, dropout. For somebody goofed, they forgot to pull out your picture. Old man Potter must have dropped him dead. Last I heard, he was seen running toward the desert, screaming. Hey, Willie, are you really okay? Okay? No, not just okay, I am great. Did you finish that screenplay yet? No, not exactly. My father's been putting pressure on me to get a job. You handle it out of it. Oh, yeah, sure. I wasn't sure what to do at first, but I decided today I'm going to move up to Oregon for a while, just so I can work on a script. Oregon? My grandmother left me a farm up there. Isn't that kind of old news? My brother Max pulled a trip like that a couple of years ago. He lived in some commune. Now he's working for my father. Yeah, I think it's a terrific idea. If I ever get some wheels again, I'll come up and visit you. Yeah. If you're not around, I can finally have a solo shot at that incredibly beautiful Sally Bowers. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Good luck. Found a house. Hey, thank you, Roy. Well, I'll see you, huh? Take it easy. Hey, Willie, give me a call before you go, huh? before you OD and write me into your will? Too late. I already did it. And everything goes to Laura Richardson. Oh, you're too mean to be my sister. Yeah, I am. Hey, what happened at your interview? Nothing. I've made up my mind. I'm definitely going to go up to Grandma's farm. Uh-oh. That means you didn't get the job, huh? No, I didn't get the job. But that's not the reason I'm going. I can see it now. Farmer Lawrence. Zillions is a little packages in the market. Farmer Lawrence's tasty sausage treats. Forget it, Willie. And uh, forget it fast. If you're half as smart as you're supposed to be, you won't even mention it to him. Dad, I know I could finish it if I had three months up there with nothing to worry about but writing. Willie, I told you. It's out of the question. Dad, It's been I... a long, rough day, and I don't want to talk about it. It's a bad idea.
Okay. Dad, what? No, no, stay back. What is going now, on? Keep quiet. Dad. Keep quiet. Keep Buddy outside. Kate! Nobody's upstairs. So Stupid I guess... of you to go up there. I'll call the police. I've already called them. I got back before you and went next door. Dear God. What's missing? I don't know. I haven't started to look yet. Well, my typewriter's gone and my camera's. Mom, the TV and the silver. Damn them. The door was left open. Who went out last? I came back to get the car. I think it was me. You think it was you? Since when did you start thinking again? Dad. Willie, how could you? For months you've been acting like an incompetent child. And this is the result. Serial numbers, that'll help identify your property. It's, um, as if your stuff can be found. Gee, I hope we're not keeping you up. Sonny, why don't you call Lieutenant Kojak? Lieutenant Kojak can find your stuff in less than an hour. <laughs> By getting back to the facts of life, Mr. Lawrence, I don't think your stuff will be found. That's exactly what I told the other ten people got ripped off today. So it's nothing personal. You'll have to excuse my son, Sergeant. My wife was concerned about the uh, silver. It was a wedding present for my husband's family. Yeah, well, I, I understand, and we're gonna do the best we can, but uh, stuff like that and uh, your fur coat, well, that's, uh, you know, c'est la vie. <laughs> you understand, c'est la vie. Did they ever find stamp collections? Uh, stamp collections, they're usually the first to go. The amount of wreckage we found in the kitchen, doesn't that imply someone unbalanced? No, 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 that's, that's routine. But, we'll file a description of the vandalism for evidence, just in case. Well, we thank you, Sergeant. You know, leaving your back door open like that is like hanging up a big welcome sign. Keep that in mind. Good night. Mom, I'm sorry I forgot to check the door. Strike three, I guess I'm out, huh? This is no joke, Willie. I'm sorry, There's Mom. There's no point in discussing it. Your mother's upset. So am I. I would like to talk to you both, please, for just a minute. Not now, Willie. At least not to me. I've heard too much about everything for one day. It can wait till morning. Good night. Good night. I'll get you a drink. It took so long. We stole our brass bottle opener, too. We're lucky they left us the scotch. There must be bourbon drinkers. That's the only thing we didn't have. It'll be all right, I mean. 
I'm sorry about the argument this morning, too. Now, see, it was a million years ago. Everything's gone. Everything. My God, who want that portrait on the stairs? And they took all my jewelry. Most of it's worthless, except to me. I guess they wanted to weed through everything after they got away from here. God, I hate this. I want our things back. sleep in your room tonight, please? That's funny. I was going to ask you the same thing. Come on, I'll take you up. I'll tuck you in. There's nothing to be afraid of, buddy. It's all over now. It doesn't seem like my room anymore. Someone looked at everything in the closet. I know. Tomorrow it'll be all right again. Mom, what did you mean when you said the person who did it must have been off to balance? I didn't mean anything, buddy. I was just angry. You were talking about those people who break into houses and then do things to the people that live there. No, buddy, I wasn't. What I meant was that anybody who commits robbery is not quite normal. Now, lie down. You sleep. You'll feel better faster. You remember this? Dark brown is the river, golden is the sand. It flows along forever with trees on either hand. Green leaves are floating, castles in foam. Boats of mine are boating. Where will all come home? On goes the river, out past the mill, away down the valley, away down the hill, away down the river, a hundred miles or more. Other little children shall bring my boats ashore. You used to say that last part with me when you were little. Kate! Heavens, Kate, what are you trying to do? You didn't have to get robbed, too. I guess it's called keeping up with the Joneses in reverse. You must feel rotten. I still do, and we were hit two days ago. I alternate between despair and rage. Kate, I need a favor. If it's silver, we're all out. That goes for everything else, too. No, but Fred's got the flu, and he's just not up to that neighborhood watch meeting tonight. Could you bear having it here? Of course. What time? Eight-ish. Thanks so much, Kate. I'll see you later. Tell everyone if they want coffee to bring their own spoon. Mom. Mom. Serial numbers for my camera stuff and typewriter. They oh. were in my desk. Thanks. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. Willie, I've got to find these serial numbers. Sergeant Pierce has to have them. Did Dad tell you I want to go up to Hattie's farm? Yes, he did. What do you think? Frankly, I haven't. I've got a lot of other things on my mind right now. I really want to go. And I'd like you to try to get Dad to understand for me. It's important, Mom. Why is it suddenly so important? Because I'm beginning to wonder if maybe I'm wrong about writing. 
Maybe I'm no good. Maybe I can't write my name, much less anything else. Mom. My screenplay's going lousy. I've thrown most of it out. That's why I want to go now. To find out. Could you please talk to Dad for me? I think you're going to have to do that by yourself, Willie. And like an adult. Why? He hasn't exactly been acting like an adult. He doesn't have to. He is one. Okay, Mother. I hope you find the rest of your serial numbers. Hello, Miss Beach. Willie, how are you? Your father's not here, but I expect him back any moment. Would it be all right if I waited for him? I don't see why not. He's free until about... 4.30. Well, here's the new law review. No centerfold, I'm afraid, but that's the best we can do. Uh, I have to go to the bank for your father. Is there anything I can get you there? Uh. <laughs> if I don't see you again, have a good day. Thank you, you too. Terry Wallace said to say hello. Terry Wallace? Uh, he was there when I was speaking to your, uh, to the senior class. Hmm. I forgot that was today. How did it go? Oh, they're bright kids. Asked a lot of good questions. They wouldn't accept any casual answers. They wore me out. And I don't help, do I? I don't want to get into a hassle, will he? Okay, okay. The reason I'm here is that uh, I came to try to explain things to you better than I have. Fine. You look good sitting in this chair. I'm dad. I mean, that's not fair. I guess it isn't. But that's what I wanted to talk to you about. When I quit high school, it was because I knew I was never going to go into law. There are plenty of careers open to you besides law. I want to write. You don't know what you want. You're not prepared to do anything, so you say you're a writer. It's a good title to hide behind. Do you think Faulkner and Fitzgerald were hiding? No, but before you include yourself in that group, please consider that they were both highly educated men. I am not including myself anywhere. That's why I want to go away, to take the time to find out where I do belong. The answer is no. You know, I just don't get it. When I was 12 years old, it was always, look what Willie made, look what Willie wrote. You and Mom were proud of me. At least you said you were. We were. Then why is it when the time has come for me to find out if I really do have any talent, it's forget it, Willie. You're not 12 anymore. You're not prepared to do anything in the real world. You can't get a job running an elevator without a high school diploma. That's the point. That's not what I have in mind. But what really bothers me is that you and Mom don't trust me enough to let me find out what I need to know. Mr. Lawrence. I made your deposit. 
You know, if your son Willie were five years older, I'd marry him. He's really cute. Yes. Do you want to start the Fryman brief? No. Not now. I'll call you. People are starting to arrive. You want to come down and say hello? Not if I don't have to. No, it's all right. I bet this thing hasn't been turned on since I was born. You'll probably get Milton Burl instead of Donnie and what's her name? Milton Burl? Never mind. Just consider yourself lucky. We dug it out of that junk in the garage. Oh, Mom, if you get a chance, ask the police if having a water pistol that looks very real is a good idea. I'll do that. Hello, Mr. Henderson. Hi. This is Willie Lawrence. I am fine, thank you. Uh, oh, good. Well, say hello to them for me. Look, I'm sorry to bother you so late, but uh, there's something I wanted to ask you. Do you think if I came up to the farm that uh, there's some sort of part-time work around there that I could do? Yes, yes, it would be very soon. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, yes, I think I can manage that, sure. Well, I have some work of my own that I'd like to do, and uh, now seems as good a time as any to do it. Hmm. Yes. Well, wonderful. Then uh, I'll see you in a couple of days. Good. Thank you again. Good night. What are you doing sitting here in the dark? Well... I was just going to call out for some stuff to eat. But uh, I'm glad you're here. Why don't you and I go out, huh? It's Friday night. You and I could have a date. What for? I just feel like going out, that's all. Where do we go? Well, for a starter, uh, how about uh, the Pacific Sandwich and Savings Company? Hmm? And then after that, I'll wallop you at miniature golf. Says you. I'm not paying, Willie. It's my treat. Let's go. I'll tell Mom. Oh, wait a minute. They're pretty busy downstairs. Why don't you and I just leave them a note in the kitchen, huh? Okay. I think it's an excellent idea, officer. Really? And I'm the man to do it. I'm a doctor, you know. Semi-retired, so I've got the time. Well, it will help. If your neighbors let you know when they're going to be out, you'll be alert to any strange cars or people. Right. Now, don't you think that a uniform would be a good idea? Uniform? Well, uh, nothing official, of course. In fact, I still have my old army uniform. Now, if I, uh, patrolled around in it, well, uh... Stan, isn't that a bit much? You're not thinking, Doug? A uniform gets respect, hmm? Not as much as you'd think. Um, I'd like to get back to the business someone brought up about owning guns. I'm for it. Who would have guessed? You know, you should have ordered number 18. 18? What's that? That is pizza bread, 
with beef stroganoff and rice. Yucca. Hmm. You know, your problem is you have no sense of adventure. Listen, Peaches, there's something I want to tell you. I'm taking off for Oregon. Well, you've been saying that for days. It's boring. I'm going in the morning. How do you think you'll like it? Mushing around the barn and you know what? All day. It's no joke, buddy. I'm going to sell my bike to Roy, and then I'm going to take off. Don't do it. I have to. Mm. Willie, I'm growing up, and I need you to help. It's just for a couple of months, buddy. But I need you now. How can I help you grow up unless I grow up myself? Daddy will go crazy when I, you go. I'm not going to tell him. And I don't want you to tell him either. But you have to make me that promise. You can't do that to them. But I promise you I'll call them as soon as I get far enough away. Doing. Take me home. Oh, come on, buddy. Let's go play some miniature golf. We got time. Take me home. Buddy, come up here and stop acting like that. I prefer to sit back here alone. That's the way you want me to be, isn't it? Buddy, please. You stink. you do, Doug? I don't know. Of course you do. You couldn't shoot anybody. I don't know. A lot of people have guns. Probably some of the ones who do shouldn't. I think it's something you have to decide for yourself. You know yourself well enough to handle it. I have no advice for anyone but myself. Kate's right about me. I couldn't shoot anyone. I wouldn't have a dangerous weapon available in my home for anybody who might be able to use it. My Simon travels a lot, you know. And after we got robbed, he said he wouldn't dream of leaving me alone in the house with no way to protect myself. So I'm going to get myself a German shepherd. Well, about the uniform. Now, I was thinking... Where are William, buddy? I don't want them treating you as if you're running a restaurant. I'll go out and see what's going on. Kitchen's closing, Willie. If you're not downstairs in five minutes, you'll have to eat somewhere else. That goes for you too, miss. Still in bed. I don't feel very well. What is it today? My stomach's upset. 
Buddy, you've only been sick twice in your life. You ought to know by now this gambit won't work. What's wrong? What's wrong? that ignition again? No, no, everything's great. Uh, Roy, I want to sell it. What? You said that any time I wanted to get rid of it, you'd buy it. Three hundred. Three hundred? Hey, wait a minute. It's worth a lot more than that. You know it's in good shape. Willie, really, Willie. Really. Six months old. It's an antique. I really need money, Roy. Three hundred's my offer. I guarantee ain't nobody gonna do you better. Let me think about it, and then I'll, I'll come back later, okay? All right. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate your efforts. Oh, yeah, I'll come down. Probably uh, about an hour. Why, well, yes. Yeah, thanks again. All right, bye. Doug. Doug. That was the police. They found most of our things. I gotta go down to identify them. Willie's gone. What? He left early this morning. He's gonna sell his motorcycle to Roy Axelrod and go up to Hattie's farm. I'll see if I can catch him. And when I do, he will be very sorry. No, Doug, wait a minute. I think some of this is our fault. We've been so worried about whether or not we'd ever see the silver again. We haven't given Willie much attention. The robbery was two days ago. Surely he can forget his problems for 48 hours. Obviously, they were more pressing to him than we cared to know. He came to me, told me how many doubts he has about what he's doing. I didn't want to listen. I was too busy trying to find the serial number for the stupid television He's set. He's not three years old. He can wait. Two days. We both know it's more than two days, Doug. Ever since he left school, we've been cutting him out. Neither one of us really wanted to hear what he had to say. I think we both thought if we ignored the situation, it would all blow over. He'd go back to school and stop embarrassing us. What are you talking about? You know as well as I do, to our friends, we're objects of pity. Poor Lawrence's, those prize saps. Did you hear about their son in the high school dropout? It's true. It's exactly what he is. He's scared to death, Doug. His class will be graduating in six weeks. They all know where they're going. He's still floundering around. Don't you think he longs for the safety of that graduation or college? No, I don't. You have no idea how much I wish he did. Willie's my only son now. There are things I want for him. So do I. But I think we have to be sure that what we want is really for Willie, not for us because of someone we lost. I was always sure Timmy would grow up and want to be a lawyer. I know that. I also know that Tim was a very different kind of child. I think we have to consider Willie, not as our only son. Willie. I'll go and see if I can find him. It's awfully hard, isn't it? I know you need transportation, and I gotta get rid of my bike. Look, I've got a hundred dollars. Wait, now, you must be getting some money for graduation. Well, probably, but I can't ask for it now. Willie, why don't you come back to school? You could write in your spare time. Terry, what are you gonna do after college? Well, you know, I'm going to med school. Right, and you've known that's what you've wanted to do ever since you were a kid. Uh-huh. Well, suppose two years from now, that's not what you want. 
You see, I quit high school because two years from now, I want to be doing something that I can do for the rest of my life. Something I want to do. I think writing is it for me, but that's why I want to go away. To see if I can write anything and finish it. I want a future, and I want it to begin as soon as possible. Do you understand? I do, but I think that if you go off like this, you're never going to get it right with your parents again. Harry, that's not what we're talking about. Wait a minute. You know, we all have hassles with our folks. But if you do this, you're not going to fix it with them. Maybe ever. Well, I hope that won't happen. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry about the bike. If after graduation, if you're short, call me. Yeah. Good luck. Hey, Willie. I hope things turn out the way you want them to. Thank you, Terry. I'm... S Good luck. Don't stop. I'm in kind of a rush, Roy. Sure, I can't talk you into 750. They really eat the dirt. No, not now. Someday, maybe. Okay. I'll get your bread. Willie? Come on. Let's get in the car. Buddy's really a fink, isn't she? I don't care to discuss Buddy's character with you. Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you I was going, but I'm not going back. Here you go. I'd like to talk to you about it. Hang on to it, Roy, will you? And I'll come back later. Come on. Let's go. I think this is a mistake. You're too angry at me. There's no sense in us trying to talk. Don't you think I should be angry at you? Yes, but not as angry as you are. You know, I never thought I'd be saying this, but I... I simply don't understand you. You do. But you don't like it. I think it scares you. It scares me, too. Would you just tell me what you think about me? What you want from me? Why? Because then maybe I can tell you what I want better than I've been able to. Well, I want you to go back to school, go to college, go into law, engineering, medicine, anything. Anything but writing. No, it's not writing, per se. Like everything else, you had to be prepared to be a writer. I don't think you've taken that into consideration. I understand how you feel. I do. But there's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is try to be very good at what I choose to do. I guess it's that you're at the beginning of your life. I'm in the middle of mine. At your age, when you look ahead, the options are unlimited. At my age, you can see how perilous some of those options can be. When you see your children doing something without stopping to think or explaining to them, you try to stop them. You tell yourself you're doing it out of love for them. I think maybe you're doing it out of fear for them. You know too much about what can happen. I don't want life to be too hard for you, Willie. Dad, I 
love you. I think you should go up to the farm. Your mother thinks so, too. I want you back at the end of the summer. Ready or not? Yes. Thank you. The police call. They've recovered most of our stuff. They did? That's great. I told your mother I'd go down there and identify them. Can I come along, too? Sure. I hope they found your typewriter. Decorated pizzas. Decorated. The ones that have messages on them. Welcome home, Willie. Well, couldn't you do it with anchovies? Well, how much would they cost? You're kidding. Well, I'll just have to think about it. I'll call you back later. Bye. Good work. I don't know why I'm doing it again. You've made me polish it once a week since we got it back. I need to make it feel as if it's ours again. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. You better know so. It'll be yours when you get married. Married? It'll wear out before that ever happens. I'm not worried. It was made to last. Well, buddy, I have to go to the market and I need your help. Help? I have a lot to buy. You know how Willie eats. Mother, Willie will be home for two more weeks. I know. But the time will go faster if I start getting ready for him now. 